All right, guys, Adam again, back with another video. So we're back here, and we're gonna work on the car a little bit. Not really messing with this front anymore. Still a little aggravated with that. So we're gonna move on to certain things like the shifter. We're gonna work on that that's under the car. Then from under the car, we're gonna do a couple things, maybe potentially change the oil and see if we can kind of tune that carburetor tab a bit more. So let's go ahead and get started and change the oil on it. And I couldn't get it up on the ramps. The ramps are acting stupid. If you wanna get ramps, don't get these ramps. Get the plastic one because you could set it on anything. With these, they dig in on these pressure points here and down here, and they just, it just digs into the dirt. If you're working on the dirt like me, uh, it just it just puts a lot of pressure just on those two spots. So if you could, you go to Harbor Freight or anywhere, or AutoZone, whatever, to get some ramps, just get the plastic ones that's solid all the way through, and it'll, it'll make your life a whole lot easier. But anyway. Alright guys, so we're at the part where I've been trying to mess with this uh, TV cable and since replacing it and I went under the bottom and made sure that I had more than enough room and it's not binding or catching on anything, it's just the transmission is sitting up higher which is not allowing me to use this stock cable bracket. So what I'm going to have to do is order another one, I'm going to order one probably two to three inches longer than the stock one, which I can, I don't know. What I might do is I'll look up the length of a stock one and then add three, two to three inches onto it so that TV cable can work because if I were to just drive it right now and try to modify a bracket to make that work, there's a chance that it's not right and that's, I, I don't wanna run into that problem because I don't wanna burn up this transmission. You don't wanna burn up a transmission period even though down the road I do plan on rebuilding it. So. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go on Summit, start looking around, and then see about ordering the correct cable to go inside of the car. All right, guys. So we went on ahead and got on Summit website and ordered a new uh, TV cable. And I've got one of the universal ones, the ones that are adjustable. I think it's from like 28 inches to like 49 inches or something like that. So let's see what we got. And I shop uh, Summit more than I shop really anyone else. Their prices are usually pretty good. If their price is like five to 10 bucks higher than Jags or something, I still pay it for the simple fact that I'm, you could basically say I'm paying for shipping as it were, and it still comes out cheaper. Like, I love ordering stuff offline, but I truly hate waiting for it to get here. And being in South Carolina, Summit, even if you don't spend over 100 bucks, you could buy something for like 30 bucks, which I did this. I think the shipping might have been like six bucks, and I still got it in two days. I, I do not like waiting for stuff to show up, even though I love shopping online. So. Receipt, magazine. ATP. So as you can see, I got the old uh, bracket from the Oldsmobile 307 back installed. Uh, I'm still playing with the, uh, you see that little chrome L-shaped bracket for my uh, return spring on it. We're still working on that, the return spring is just sitting. Uh, so now I'm gonna go ahead and jack the car up and go up under and disconnect the old one, see if I can measure out the new one and the old one and add about two, two and a half inches to it, and then reinstall it and see what we got. All right guys, so now we got the old uh, TV detent cable out. And so I already measured it to the new one that we're putting in. And this has got a bunch of excess that it has to be cut off once I finish fitting it up or whatever. But this is the length of it. And I added about two, two and a half inches to the end of it. 
and then I snug down this little uh, jam, these two jam nuts or whatever, so it should stay in place. So the fun part now is going to be for me to route this down, back down through the transmission tunnel, and while on my back, see if I can get that hook. I don't know if you guys can see, but get that hook to go straight in through this little teeny tiny little hole right there. That's going to be the fun part. But uh, we're going to do that. There's not a whole lot of room to try and film exactly where it's at because I can only half see what it is. But we're going to do that, then come back up top and finish make my last little bit of connections. And uh, I'm kind of ready to drive this thing again. So that's what we're going to try and do. All right, so we finally got that TV cable and stuff installed from the transmission on up. Uh, I still got a bunch of access, as you can see here, but I don't want to cut it just yet until I drive it and make sure everything is good. Uh, instead of flipping the TV cable on this side, since I still got my return spring and I didn't want them to cross over, I kind of wanted my uh, TV cable to be as straight as possible. And if I had it on this side, which I did, it would have like a little S in it. And I, and I didn't want it to affect line pressure. Any. So we've got it cinched down and everything. And so now we're going to, I'm gonna drive it without an air cleaner because I don't, I don't have the, the drop mount air cleaner yet. I still gotta order it and they're like, they're like 60 bucks or more. And so we'll just wait till, wait a week or so before you get that. But uh, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is uh, check out my fluids, make sure we're good. Uh, I need to put air in that tire again because it's low and we'll go ahead and uh, drive it, warm it up and hopefully maybe, I don't know, see if we can tune it any. the car and the hood won't stay down so I need to go back to the house it's warmed up pretty good now but I need to truly try to uh, get this hood to latch because if I don't every time on the wide open throttle the hood comes up and I don't want it to come all the way back and stuff so we'll just pop, pop back onto the house and fix that and then we'll start the tuning on it see if we can get something to happen and sometimes it, it doesn't sound like it's missing but it's probably because it's straight off the exhaust manifold why it sounds like that I need to go ahead and take it to exhaust shop to get it all taken care of to be honest with you. So I also need to install the tag because without the tag as loud as it is I really can't hear and I don't feel it shift so that means I need to work on the TV cable adjustment a little bit more. Um, being honest, this, this is the first time thing adjusting the TV cable. So I know I got some work to do, but I need to get it quickly so I don't end up burning up this uh, 200 R4. So we're gonna pull back in, see if we can get this hood to adjust and then we'll drive it again and uh, see what happens. So we used a bungee cord to hold it down because I got tired of messing with it. So we're going to drive it again and we'll see if we can uh, get any more pulls and then start messing with this carb a tad bit just to get some, just a little bit of that stumble out. So it's, it's probably just running a bit rich, you know, so on the primaries. So we'll see about leaning it out once I make sure it's completely warm and then go from there. So I'm on the side of the road. Uh, bungee cord idea, fail, utter fail. It still came up to about right here and uh, came up on me, the hood came up on me. But uh, so it started to run a little bit better messing with it, but uh, I'm on the side of the road for a reason. As you can see, good mile from the house, nice. Ran out of gas, that's what happened. So uh, <laughs> you can't even get mad, all you can do is laugh about it. Cause you know, Lisa's running, Lisa's driving, so I gotta walk back to the house, get my truck, go to the gas station, get some gas. It's just, golly, bro. 
So this indeed will be <laughs> one of the things you might see on the time of garage. Uh, running out of gas. So I'm back in my truck that's behind me and I'm gonna put some gas in. I got a little gas can here and I got another one in the back of my truck. <laughs> Jesus. All right. I know there ain't no fuel in the fuel in the float bowls and but time to try and start. Oh, thank you. Ah, that was what I put in the car rear. So walking back to the house, because even though I put fuel inside of the carburetor and got the engine to start, it wouldn't stay running long enough to start pumping fuel all the way from the tank through the lines all the way up and then to the carburetor. So now I'm walking back to the house. I got dog on again so I can get my truck and get my jumper cables and come back out to the car jump it so I can turn over long enough to pump enough fuel back up into the carburetor, prime the carburetor again, and then we can go from there. I got somebody coming that should help me, that be a second pair of hands. So that's the only thing that suck about being by yourself. It's twice the work when stuff hit the fan. So we will do all this running around just to get the car back to the house. I got dog on again. So I'm getting the flat tool from my grandpa and uh, so when I went under to hook my tow strap up I saw that the fuel line that I used to connect from the fuel filter over to the actual fuel line that was way too short that came undone so I just wasted battery power cranking it cranking it cranking it cranking it and cranking it all over again when I'm turning the engine over but since that fuel line is not connected, I mean, what, what you gonna do? You're not getting no fuel to it. So, doy moment goes to Adam, you know? So, now we're gonna get into the house, I'm gonna hook up a battery charger to it. Yeah. So, it's been a long day, and quite honestly, the lazy has taken over me. You see, I got the car back, and I got it on the battery charger or whatever. And, uh, so, I ran the battery low, trying to turn it over, trying to get fuel back to it because I thought it might have ran out of gas. And I need to fix that fuel line, that connection that pulls, that suck, that pulls from the fuel pump, from the gas tank to the fuel pump. So we got to do that. But overall, we did a little bit of tuning and we was able to get uh, some of that stumble out of it, get some of that stumble out. So it's getting there, we're getting there slowly. Uh, from there, we got a couple other things we want to do to the car. Um, I have another project that I would like to purchase to get started on, but until I actually pull the trigger on that, I'm going to just keep that under wraps. Thank you guys for watching, watching me burn up and walk 15,000 miles a day. Uh, if you feel bad for me, drop a like. Uh, if you laughed at me, drop a like. Uh, anything at all that gave you some kind of satisfaction out of this video in any way, good or bad, drop a like, please. Uh, if you could also subscribe and to the channel and also share it share the video let other people see the video they can all pick at me as well and uh, we'll make something happen so see you guys on the next video and uh, peace it's hot ready to go